time before that timeout was called. Let's see if they go again. They don't. They'll drop back. Here comes some coverage, though. And he is nearly brought down. Here's a flag. That's probably a hold in the backfield. As you saw, regardless of the hold, you did see how elusive Smith can be. Absolutely. He managed to get out of a couple of tackles and pick up what would have been a first down, but it looks like that's going to come back. We'll watch it again here. Illegal hands in the face. No, it's against Madison. It's against JMU. Wow. Yeah. Two receivers to the top side, looking that way. Now looking over here to the near side. All alone is Pringle as Ross had given him some coverage, some room there. And eventually Isaac Ukwu comes in from his defensive end spot. 22 yards, averaging 80 yards per game. And he'll get the carry. No, J Smith will fake it. He comes to the near side, tries to put it over the pylon. Does he get it in? Yep. Yes, it is a touchdown. What a drive for Villanova. The season on the injury injury list and he is back here comes a blitz it's picked up and it's flared out here to the near side that is Thornton's first catch of the day Johnson all alone in the backfield gets it loose and that is caught by Van Horst somehow looked like he got jarred and still managed to maintain his focus yeah. defensive players for the Villanova Wildcats. Jay Obese still in there on this sequence. He's got it. He finds jump cuts, stays on his feet down inside the five. I think he's picked up a first down. I love the jump cut there. Jay Obese, his first touchdown of 2021 in the fall. And he is in the purple pay dirt for JMU. And they're a Feel a point away from tying this one up. Now the attendance. This will be the largest crowd since 2017 to be at Bridgeport Stadium. Went to Marshall, became the Conference USA Defensive Player of the Year. Now he's in the NFL with the practice squad on the Lions. So there is a model for Diamante at just five foot ten to make it to the big level. They're working with a new first down at the 44. Smith will hand this one off to Covington, and there's a big hole, and he sidesteps to the right side. He's down to the 30. It's a foot race to the 10, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Justin Covington, and just like that, Villanova has regained the lead. Now, this is blocked. This is possible for a two-point, and somebody can pick it up and run with it, and it is pulled up by Isaac Ukwu. Got it. And that was James Carpenter that got the big mitt up there, number 99. Percy is a Obese. And Johnson will pull the football down himself, and he picks up the first down, and he collides at the 49 with the defender. Gets down wisely so. Ryan gets to him. Percy takes the fakes the handoff and here comes Johnson this time though he will not elude and coming in for the sack is Malik Fischer. Three receivers to the wide side of the field which is to our near side and they're going to flare it out here it's Thornton on the receiver screen it's Cheatham blocking out and also Bryce uh, excuse me Bracey blocking here on the edge. Three receivers in the pattern but it's Latrell Palmer Palmer finds the seam to the 30. Drug down at the 24-yard line. Long 48. That came against Sam Houston State in the playoffs last year. This has got the distance. It also has the direction. Wow. And the Dukes pulled within three. Where Covington will settle in. Covington with the long touchdown run. Here is the pass again to Pringle. And Pringle run out of bounds. With 35 pounds of physicality. Faking. Looking downfield. And going for an open man, the receiver yeah. is caught on the far side. Option. First time he's gone to the tight end today. New man in the backfield, but he's going to fake it. This is Smith again, and he is wrapped up. It is up. It is high. It is through. Up there in Ogden, Utah, he's going to. Hand off the ball. Well, no. Johnson, no, he won't. He's going to come here to the near side. Good fake, and he picks up a big piece of real estate. Johnson, 5 for 12 passing, 3 for 29 rushing the football. And there is a Jay Obese. And he is tackled by Ethan Potter. Just does get the ankle of Percy. Three short points off the board. They didn't waste any time doing it. They got the situation they wanted to. Engagement by Wells. Wells has not been targeted very often today, if at any, that I can recall, but he makes the great block, seals off the edge, and Thornton comes up with the catch. I love a managed to. 
And it's Johnson, second effort. He's pushed from behind. Yep. Touchdown, James Madison. That's how they got the score. He was not going in, but he got pushed from behind by his running back there. And, and how they bond. And there's a bonus three, and the Dukes jump on it. Mobaku Okonji with the fumble recovery. There is your first sack this afternoon right on cue. And let's finish up your thought about cue there, too. And here is Ajay Obase. Stays on his feet. Is he in? Did he stay up? They call him in for the touchdown. Yes. How do you like that? One hand to maintain his balance. No knee, no backside to the turf. Touchdown, Percy. Welcome back. Tough to slide into the end zone. And right here. Yeah, he lands on the defender and still gets in. In the Dukes opener. Third down for the Dukes. Splits. Yep, here's the pass. It is Thornton brings it in. Thornton is free. And he's out of bounds on the far side at the 37-yard line. Counts certainly towards experience here. In, in fact, they've got 20 graduate students on the roster, does Villanova. Johnson pulls it down. First catch of the day, Antoine Wells. And he maneuvers himself into first down territory, Christian Benford. Here we go. And up the middle. And the whole surge goes beyond the line to gain. So the Dukes will have it. Johnson back coverage underneath it goes Palmer Palmer picks up the first down I wouldn't know yep there's the snap the kick and it is through there that's we feel like we can play with anybody three receivers here to, here to the near side now he's going to go over the middle and it is caught yep that is Plucked out of the air, Des Boykin, who's been quiet in the first half, a senior from Whitehall, Pennsylvania, in the first half. Chekwinicki makes the tackle. Well, that's a that's a good throw, but an even better catch. It was 99. Beg your pardon. Changed that on the on the distance. That's good, and it he was hit from... that with 10, 15 yards to spare. See if they bring pressure. They do. Blitz coming. He doesn't and get it away. Couldn't yep. find a receiver, and the pass protection broke down. Good call defensively to bring the pressure and sack the quarterback. Mike Todd Summers, he's got one catch in today's ball game. The handoff to Covington. Cuts it back up the middle. Dukes better tackle him because there wasn't a lot of defense back there otherwise. Pringle down here to the near side in single coverage. They go to Pringle, and he steps out of bounds, picking up the first down. Yeah, they Barley is in the backfield this time. He'll back up for protection, flaring it out, and finding a seam. Sam Kidd hits the receiver, knocks him out of bounds. Rolling out to his right, looking back to his left. The screen set up again, and beautifully read. What a play oh, by Sam Kidd. Fabulous. He had to fight off a defender. He could see the pass coming. And uh, Villanova trying to... Edge just ever so slightly closer to James Madison. Dukes will split their defenders around the edge, and that is through there. Bring them all up to the line of scrimmage this time. Now they drop back in coverage, does a linebacker, and here comes the blitz, and down goes Cole Johnson. Again. But a good number of fans still here for the second half. Second down and long. Airing it out. He's got Pringle. Pringle's right got the football. Pringle's got the touchdown. Yeah, new game. They're going to go for two here. Yep. Smith. And he is dragged down from behind. That's significant. Here's the snap, the rollout, the throw. And it is incomplete. No. Yes, it's incomplete. The intended target was Pringle. The Dukes will take over on a change of downs. Seen on third down conversions. Here, here they all blitz. come. Pass released. He's got a man open. It is Wells. Wells with the first down at midfield. Upside, Douglas is going to join him out there. And instead, they're going to Wells. Wells with a catch. Yeah, really nice catch. Johnson, plenty of time. He's got, there is your tight end. That's Turner. Seven right here. Well, they just need a first down. Johnson pulls it down. He's got some room. If he gets a block from Percy and Jay Obisay, he does. And it's a first down from Ergie's cheesesteak. Nice run by Johnson, but what a block by Percy and Jay Obisay. The hold by Miller. And Ratke right through the All-State signs. No, he missed signs. it. He missed it? Oh, my goodness. He missed it wide to the right. Ajay Obase goes to the middle. 
And he is tripped up. Diving in there is Townsell. Big play coming up. Johnson lofts it out. It is to Wells. Wells, he caught it. In. He yeah. picks up the first down. Yeah, forward progress. They had him. Ryan again on the tackle. This is a catch for Thornton. And another JMU first down. Tighten up. Lofting for the corner. It's Thornton. That was the same area that Thornton caught the winning touchdown in last week. Same type of play into the corner. Snap. The hold, the kick. And it hits the upright. Oh, my. Hold the four. Yeah. And Villanova will start the clock once again, and that will do it. So the Wildcats snap a five-game losing streak to James Madison. They knock off the preseason favorites and disappoint the family weekend crowd here, 25,000-plus at Bridgeport Stadium.